Um, so we started working her up. Um, we did a pregnancy test on her, showed positive. She was denying that she had sex. Um, then she said she had to go to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. She was in there for quite a while. We kept knocking on the door. Finally, we got her to open the door, and there was blood and shit everywhere. She was cleaning it up. Okay. So we took her back to the room, and there was, I was afraid that she knew she was pregnant. She had done something to herself. Mm -hmm. um, so the doctor started doing a vaginal exam on her. We had the lady come to clean the bathroom. She put the baby in the trash can, and then she put another clean liner over the top of it. Okay. So they looked when they looked in there, it looked there was no trash in there, but it was right. underneath the clean bag. The okay. baby's dead. Okay, we have him in trauma too, but she killed the kid. Yeah, how old was the how old was the baby? I don't know. It's full term. She just had it. She had it in the bathroom. Was what happened. And then she whatever she did, I don't know. She's gonna lie. She wouldn't tell us she's pregnant. She's been lying the whole time. Okay. So that's what's going on. Um, I just pulled the doctor out of the room, so nothing's been said to the patient. Or the yeah. mother that's in there yet. Okay. Um, I have Leela, the housekeeper, if you want to interview her. Yeah. She's I'll the one that kind yeah. of found... Yeah, because I wanted to get with you guys first and then get with her right. to get her statement before I even did anything. Well, this, I'm the charge and this is what has happened. Okay. You can interview the nurse that had her. Okay. The two nurses that were taking care of her. You can talk to the tech, which is Lori. She's the one that went in there and actually found it. Because Leela's like, this is really heavy. Okay. So then uh, Lori went in there and then, of course, the baby was underneath clean liner. Okay, yeah, if we can, if we can speak with Lori. Okay, I'll get Lori and I'll get you. So, so, officers, so, piece, the first thing, though, is I need to make sure that the, the mother, the woman who delivered the baby is medically stable. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if she delivered a placenta. She's bleeding a lot. I just got her accepted to Loveless. Okay. So I need to get her up there as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, so how I need to tell her what's going on, and I need to tell the mother what's going on, the mother and their mother and they're together. Uh -huh. Do would, Is one of you willing to be, be present for that conversation? Yeah. No, but no, Are you guys going? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, go in right sure. now. Well, we're doing that. I'll, then I'll, call, I'll make sure Lila comes down. Lord, all the other nurses and stuff are here, and I'll get Lila here. Okay. Hey, um, Maria, will you get Lila back down here? Maria? Yeah. Maria, can you come over here? We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. It came out of me and I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. But it was I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. It was not crying or nothing. What did you do to it? Okay, stop right here. I stop, stop. stop. Number one priority, guys. Number one priority is she just had a baby. I don't know if she's delivered the placenta. She's bleeding significantly. Yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. We need, I need your, I just need your permission to transfer her for medical. She is. She's 19. Oh, you're right. You, but you, she is a student too. She's not still a teacher. You're well. right. You, you're right. She needs to. I'm sorry. I forgot. She's 19. Keep out of me. But you need to, for, to make sure that you're safe. I need to send you to left Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. I agree. Great. I'm gonna work on that. Um. In terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, you do have to have the police involved. And nothing was crying. It came out with nothing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for autopsy and there'll be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry. Guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But we need to do this correctly, um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be. Okay. Officer, do you need to, do you guys need to talk to her before we get her transferred? How long is it going to be before you have the transfer out? I don't know. Are we working on? Okay. Uh, Maria, so, do you think 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, hopefully, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. I got, I got detectives on the way, so they're, okay. they're going to be talking first. Okay. Do you guys have, I'm the charge nurse here, do you guys have any questions for me? Like how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nothing. Nine months? Something was crying. Let's see. Have you watched the news of the girls that, what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? That was crying.
So, as of right now, like, what I'm going to say this, we're going to have the detectives come over here and they're going to talk to you, okay? We have to gather some more information about what's going, what's going on. They'll get your statement. They're going to get the doctor's statements. They're going to get everybody's statements, okay? So, I don't know everything yet, okay? So, I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you nothing, okay? All but I'm going to say not is... going to go to jail. Right, right now, she's going to... No, well, right now, she's being detained. So, she, she's not going to leave from here at all, period. Okay, so one of us will be in your custody. Like, yeah, she's detained. Yeah, she's not under arrest, but she okay. is detained. Okay, she's not free to leave. So while this whole thing is coming up, is you're not free to leave. Okay, one of okay. us will be in here the whole time with you because you're not going to try to leave or nothing like that. Sure. All right. Like I said, the detectives will be here. They're going to talk to you. They're, I mean, your care is of, of the utmost right now. Okay, they're going to do what they need to do to take care of you to make sure you get stable. They get you transferred out or whatever. Like I said, the detectives are already been notified. They're already on the way. So they're going to come talk to you. All right. So don't leave. Don't try to do nothing. One of us is always going to be in here in this room with you. Okay. Unless we have to step out for doctor's orders or something like that. Because if they need to examine you or do something with you. But other than that, like I said, you are detained. You are not free to leave at this point. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Where was the lady at? I don't know. I have no clue yet. Like I said, I just talked to the charge nurse. We're still getting all the information right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, once we get that information, like I said, the detectives, they can clue you in on everything and talk to you more about it. Okay. All right. Um, do you happen to have an ID on you, Yes, you she do. does. Okay. Can we get that? Mm -hmm.
Um, I'm going to be a nice section. I'm going to get this out of the way.